Hello again guys, this lesson is for Beside You by 5 Seconds of Summer. Let's get straight into it so we can get this song up and running as fast as possible. The trickiest thing about the intro is that it comes in on the A uh of 2. So we're going to go 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a. Okay, so it's after beat 2, right on the A. Uh. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, Play it once more slowly. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E. Then there's another bar in the intro, just before all the instruments come in. And this, this bar is going to kind of give us the feel for our verses. Once more slowly. I think one of the tricky bits is going to be getting the snare drum in before beat 4. So maybe you could just practice that all by itself in a groove like this. That way you'll be able to get that little ghost note in nice and comfortably and that'll really help you groove along. I'll play the whole of the intro for you now. One, two. Alright, and then we're into our verse. I'll play the groove, it's a two bar groove, really slowly, and then we'll get it up to speed. So that was the two bars slowly, let's go a little bit faster. And let's try it up to speed. In the bar, right before the chorus, we have a little build-up, and that sounds like this. So it's just eighth notes and then a little sixteenth note fill on the snare at the end. And then we're on to our chorus. Uh, I'm going to play it with open hi-hats. You can play it on the crash cymbal. I think maybe there's some right cymbal in there as well. It sounds like there's quite a lot of layers of cymbals going on. Uh, anyway, we'll start out on the open hi-hats and uh, see if it sounds good. Goes like this. Those four bars play through twice to make up one chorus, and at the end of the second time, the fill is a little bit different, but I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. The snare drum's not doing too much that's too tricky. After our chorus, we're back into our verse, and the only change here is that there's one extra kick drum on the A uh of four. If you listen carefully, you'll be able to hear it, but if you want to leave it out, it's not going to make a huge difference. So then we go straight back into our build-up bar, into the chorus, and then after the chorus, we have this fill that's going to go into our bridge. All we're going to go is... Once more, the fill into the bridge. And then the groove for our bridge is really simple. It's all eighth notes, and the snare drum is playing two and four, and the kick drums are filling in all the other eighth notes, and we're going to play it up on the crash cymbal because it's starting to get nice and big. Sounds like this. There's one fill right before the vocals come in, in the bridge. And in that bar, the beat changes a little bit, and then we go into the fill. So that sounds like this.
Again, more slowly. Alright, with all those bits and pieces, we've got pretty much everything we need to play the song. With the verse groove, the chorus groove, and the bridge groove, that'll get you up and running. Out of the bridge, there's a bit of a build-up, going into the double choruses, and in the double chorus, at the very end, the first time, we play the chorus groove, and the second time, we play the bridge groove. So just keep an ear out for that. Otherwise, hopefully that's super helpful, it'll get you up and running the song in no time at all. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll catch you guys at the next lesson.